You slept. Oh, you always kill it on the red carpet. Sweet, so I don't think you've ever had a bad fashion day. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you kill it. How, how would you define your style? Um, chic. Chic? Sexy. Ooh. And timeless, I think. I love it. I love someone who knows what they have. And come on, blow your trumpet, baby. Anybody going to blow it for you? <laughs> All right, so we first saw you as a photographer, then a musician, and now an actor. At what point did you decide, um, this is it, I want to do acting? So I've always wanted to do acting and music. Oh, so it's always something you yes. wanted to do. Right? Ever since I was a little girl, those are the two things I've always wanted to do. Photography actually came when I was in uni. That came absolutely last. Mm -hmm. When I moved back to Nigeria, I didn't know how to get into music. I didn't know how to get into acting. But photography, I just went with my portfolio and I went to magazines and then I started shooting and that sort of took off. That's why I started with that. But music and acting were the two things that I've always wanted to do. So as an actor, because this is Jara Baby, you've had quite a number of projects, impressive projects. Which of them would you say sealed the deal as an actor? For you? I think when I did It's Her Day, people just loved the character so much. It was it's really day, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I played a really, really bitchy, the really, really bitchy sister. And people just love her. I tend to get a lot of dark characters as well. Yeah. She's not stereotyping now. <laughs> dark is good. Would you rather the lover girl or the crying girl? <laughs> no. Exactly. Let's be honest, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I do like to play the villain quite a bit. Mm. I enjoy it. All this sexiness and slaying and beauty, Tony Tones. Are you seeing anyone? Uh, Are you in a relationship? I am not. Are you taking applications? I am, very, I am taking applications. Uh, uh, where can we apply, please? The last time you asked me that question, I said no, I wasn't. But, but now, now I am. Now I'm open. So <laughs> then get your people to call my people. Let's talk. Uh, really? Yeah. They can just come in. <laughs> yeah, so I have to go through like an army. Yeah, you have to you. Send your application. I'll say that. I'll say that. If you could change something about the industry, what would you change? I think that, because I'm an artist as well, I think that actors are severely underpaid compared to their Preach. musician counterparts. Definitely. Preach it, we say this um, thing. So I think more value needs to be placed on the actor because honestly, without your actor, you don't have a film. Like, there is no film without the actors, so that needs to be worked on. I think we need to be paid more. Amen, amen, amen to that. Because now we're... Movies are making money. Yes. And movies are making money Producers now. We know how much people are killing yes, now. Yes, the there's figures no are there. They're there. Mm. There's no excuse of there's no more money. We know hey. there's money. I think we should start a movement. I'm telling no you. No more actors. A, a union, <laughs> actors union. Let's go to the mechanic shop and carry new uh, actors. That's what will happen. That's what will happen. <laughs>